Okay, so we've got our logo saved. Let's go back to in Inkscape. So here we are in Inkscape. I need to open that file. So I'm gonna come up here to File. I'm not, we're not gonna do a new, we're going to Import. So if I click on Import, we have to go find it now. So again, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna go down to Class, the Turner folder, our specific class and trimester folder and find the folder, find the document you saved and open it. So mine was on the desktop and we called it Mr. T Briggs and Stratton. There it is. So I'm going to open this and we just click OK. So it's got a way over here right off the bat a couple of handy tools. We've got these two arrows here. The second one is an edit path, and you can see that pop up, and it says edit paths. So if you're unsure of any of these tools, hover over it for a second, and it tells you. We're going to use this one first, select and transform. So with transform, we can stretch. We don't want to do that, so if I go control Z, undo, that's good to remember. Uh, we can move it if I click on it. I can move the actual uh, shape, but uh, so I'm just going to put it on the paper uh, and I'm going to zoom in. Uh, to zoom in, if I roll the mouse wheel, it moves it up and down. If I hold the shift key down, it moves it side to side. That's kind of interesting. If I hold the control button down and roll the mouse wheel, it zooms it in and out. So something interesting you'll notice, if I zoom in on this, see how it's pretty pixely? Well, we need to fix that. And it's really simple to do. So I'm gonna zoom back out, and again, Macintosh, it's slow. So I have it selected. If I click off of it, it's no longer selected. It has to be selected with this transform tool. So I click on it once, I come up here to the top, I click on Path, and we're going to trace this. So I click on Trace Bitmap. A new window pops up. Yours is going to look a little different. Uh, we can choose different uh, options here. You should be able to just click OK. All right, so you notice it, it now has a picture of it here. This whole window we can get rid of, close it. And what happened is we created a copy. So I still have my selection tool, my transform tool. If I move this out of the way, oh my goodness, so slow. You'll notice this, let's see, I think, so yeah. So this one is my first one, that's the actual picture. You can see the pixels right there. And if I use this tool and I click on that, I don't get anything. Nothing happens. If I click on that over here, ooh, see the red lines that popped up? And we get all those dots. So all of those lines have been converted to a path. The plasma cutter has to have a path to follow to cut out, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my other selection transform tool click on that and just I'm pushing the delete button to get rid of it. So I hit the delete button or the backspace button and it's gone. We've got this guy, move that back over here.